wasn't uh, uh, going to commercialize it. He wasn't going to uh, sell the electric bulb. So there were uh, there was a businessman called uh, uh, J.P. Morgan. So he was a, a bank financier. His father was also a big uh, banker. And J.P. Morgan uh, saw a, a future in electric bulb. Uh, so he he thought, okay, why don't we uh, why don't they make an agreement with uh, Thomas Edison? So and let's make a, 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 let me a, let's take it up uh, from there. So uh, so he made an agreement with uh, Thomas Edison. So prior to the electric bulb invention, uh, uh, they were using the kerosene lamps all over the U.S. So they were everybody every single household had had to use an electric. I mean sorry the kerosene, the kerosene lamps. Mm -hmm. So kerosene lamps. The, the man who was selling the kerosene lamp was called uh, uh, John D. Rockefeller. He was a billionaire. Wow. So <laughs> he's the one. He was the one who started the company called the Standard uh, Oil. Yeah. So he was the one who uh, uh, took oil from the ground and refined it, and then he supplied all over the USA. He was a monopoly single guy who took the oil. He was controlling 90 percent of the oil industry. So even though it, it is illegal now, so he was uh, marketing and for to do do that, he had to use. Initially, they were using the uh, the, the tra uh, railroads. You know, the railroads. They had to take the oil and then transport them into barrels, and then every single household that had to use a kerosene bulb. They need because when the sun goes down, they had to use every single household. There's no electricity. Right. So for the uh, light, they had to use. Uh, lamps. Kerosene lamps. Uh, imagine every single household in the United States buy something, and the profit goes to one guy yeah. called John D. Rockefeller. So uh, he was like a, he was number one in the world. He was the richest man. So eventually, the the court declared him as a you know because he was monopoly. They, they made made him an illegal, and then they had to, he had to split split the, his company. Uh, so that's a different story. So so meanwhile, uh, J. P. Morgan um, he found. A, the next, the next big thing, uh, he he foresee. Uh, so now people are using kerosene lamp. The next big thing is uh, electric light. So it's going because people need light. So so he made an agreement with uh, uh, Edison. So and then the first thing he did. So once you want to market something, what is the first thing you want to do? You want to test it yourself. You know. So he said, all right, go ahead and. Uh, uh, put electric bulb uh, and uh, uh, put uh, power transformers everything in my old house in my in my own house so uh, so Edison what he did he spent a couple of months and then he put electric bulbs all over his uh, all over his house so uh, theoretically uh, JP Morgan's house was the first house in planet earth to have electricity electric bulb, bulb mm -hmm. all over mm -hmm. so he found it is the future and um, so eventually, he, uh, uh, they wanted to start marketing the electric uh, electricity and the electric bulbs. Um, so meanwhile, uh, 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 Thomas Edison was using uh, 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 the power called direct current. So direct current and alternate current. So the direct current has some uh, uh, inefficiency, so it cannot be transported to farther distance. So. Uh, Thomas Edison had an assistant called Nikola Tesla. <laughs> so the Nikola Tesla, he came up with the alternate current. So alternate current can be transported to thousands of miles, 10,000 miles, uh, so uh, without losing a lot, lot of energy. So so eventually J.P. Morgan uh, cancelled all his contracts with Edison and he moved to uh, Nikola Tesla. And then they uh, both Nikola Tesla and there was another company called Westinghouse and J.P. Morgan. All these three people went and built the biggest uh, power generating station in Niagara. So Niagara was the first place they they used Niagara to generate power and then support uh, supply to the uh, New York City. So eventually they, that all started and then they started powering uh, New York City and eventually uh, slowly. It, to uh, the rest of the world, so that's how electricity and uh, uh, now, uh, now we take everything for granted. Electricity, <laughs> like starting from air condition, heater, your, everything needs electricity. So this 
how it started uh, by the person called J.P. Morgan. He was the one who foresee there's a future for electricity. And then he started commercializing in it, and then he eventually uh, went to the whole world. You know, we survive. We cannot survive without electricity now. It's very hard. Yeah. 